What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, people. Back again to give you another video. As you can tell, Mr. Warmack is definitely in the building. And uh, I'm giving you I'm giving you another life lesson here. This is real whack right here, is what he said. I'm going to tell you the best way for you to learn in life. The best way for you to learn in life, you have to assume everybody is a fraud. Whether right or wrong or indifferent, you have to assume everybody's a fraud. Like, I generally assume, unless it's, I generally assume people are fraud and fraudulent until I have to hear what they have to say. You know, folks I don't know, I have to, I, that's how I have to deal with people. Until I see how they maneuver, how they move around, I have to assume that everybody's a fraud. No, this is the way, when I was younger, my parents asked me the lifestyle. The old man kicked in the code of conduct, the code of honor. My parents, my both, my mom and dad were thorough, I gotta give them that. They taught me how to respect people, how to be thorough, basically how to be an upstanding type of male, upstanding type of man. Somebody could say, hey, I wanna be like him. So I learned that, and then, like I said, I learned from other dudes, other things, the same thing. I'm not gonna go detail, watch the other videos I, I've learned. I've learned through the streets also, so I'll just leave that alone. I let the, you know, the same principles of pride in the streets even to even a greater degree than I thought I learned. Okay. Especially during life, you know. There's times for some of my friends and homeboys, my comrades, and the streets wanted to just, uh, you know, end it all. And I was like, oh, nah, you know, we keep it real. Now, nah, back to the video. I, clear, I keep it like a clear majority of people are frauds, and that's how I detect that, by what I've learned in life, by what I see people, how they maneuver in life, and how they, you know, do what they do. This is where when people say, well, you don't know me, you don't know who I am, I don't have to know you. People get, people get this fraudulent assumption that you have to know them to like make assumptions and make statements about them. No, I don't. I can, I can, I can tell people, here's what you need to understand. People are no different no matter where you're at and no matter around the world, people are the same. They want the same basic necessities as you do. So a person in Pittsburgh is no different than the, from a person in Prague. A person in Brooklyn is no different than from a person in Boston. A person in Jacksonville, Florida is no different than from a person in Johannesburg, South Africa. We all want the basic needs and all, but we want the basics. We all have the same, the same needs, so you go from there and that's how you can tell who they are. Like I, that's, why I can tell, that's why I don't deal with a lot of people on YouTube. A lot of them are on some fuck shit, and I don't want—I don't have time to deal with that. The message that I'm giving, what I'm trying to, per, per, you know, purvey on to you is, you know, accountability, self-reliance, and you know, take some control of yourself. You know, your best bet is to assume everybody's a fraud. You know, that way it'll work out in the end, and do your own research. You know, stay away from the tough talkers on Facebook and YouTube. Like I said, a lot of it all is boils down to you have to do your own research. That's all it is. It's just something simple, but it's amazingly a lot of people don't want to do it. Like if I hear someone on YouTube and I know it's wrong and I don't comment no more on a lot of these, like a lot, if, if you comment delete, that means you're a fraudulent on YouTube or Facebook. You're straight off the bat, nah, you'll have your little excuses. You tell if somebody tells you that they delete comments because of something. You tell them that Mr. Warnick, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. all the names you heard in the beginning, you tell them I said that they're a fraud. You want to know why? Because uh, you can say whatever you want, you better back up your opinion. And those who do, they're just on, they're on some fuck shit. Now people come to me and say, well, I delete comments because I don't have time. Look, man, you're on a public forum. You should have known this coming in, what was going to happen. If you didn't, shame on you, not shame on me. So, assume everybody's a fraud, do your homework. If it doesn't sound right, chances are it is not right. So, I just want to get that quick video off. Like I said, repeat, assume they're a fraud, do your own homework, make sure what they're telling you is real, 
And if you what they're saying is real through your past experiences, chances are it's real. Come out here. Peace.